What is up my friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we're visiting one of the newest sports kitchens to hit the Las Vegas Strip. Flanker Kitchen, located inside of Mandalay Bay. This place blew my mind, not only from some of the food options like these, pigs in a blanket, talk about something that takes you back, right? Yes, pigs in a blanket. But there's a surprise twist to those and I'll get to those in a second. Also, their Wagyu burger, which I have to tell you about. This is also one of those places that doesn't list the prices on the menu, so I wanted to be frank about that and I'll let you guys know the prices towards the end. And I have to let you guys know about the wings and the mojito that ended up on my table as well, thanks to the manager. <laughs> so we start off first with the pigs in a blanket. Now like I said, these had a twist because inside of these bad boys were hot links. So it's a puff pastry wrapped around the hot link and then they give you some honey mustard to dip it in. Super delicious. Couldn't have been any better with the sweetness of the sauce to kill the spiciness of the hot link. Delicious. Next on the menu was their double Wagyu burger. Now this came with the bacon onion jam. This bad boy was probably one of the best burgers I've had in Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. The jam itself was super sweet. The bacon was crispy. The burger was cooked perfectly. The bun was soft. The seasoning was killer. Everything was perfect about this. And you'll see from my reactions that I really enjoyed this. But again, here's more of the bacon jam. You can get a better perspective with the light on. But this burger was just absolutely perfect. A lot of the times I eat my food cold for food reviews. But as you can see, was this my favorite burger? Oh yes, this one was up there. Here is where the wings and the mojito came into place when the manager saw I was doing a food review and was like, hey, you gotta try out some other options we have. So I tried the mojito, it had a nice kick, super delicious, you couldn't even really taste the alcohol. It was really, really good. So I went ahead and tried the tahini and the drink together. It was really good. It couldn't have complimented itself any better with the, both of them being mixed in. Then we went over and gave these wings a try. These wings were not your traditional wings. They were a salt and pepper wing. So again, didn't need any sauce. They were cooked perfectly. The amount of seasoning on the actual breading stood out, which I didn't see really happening because it's just salt and pepper, right? So I figured, hey, you know, not buffalo, not any sweet style wings. These were just pretty plain. They were delicious. The flavor came through. The batter was well done. They were perfect the way they were. This is a definite recommendation of visiting Allegiant Stadium for any event or a football game. As you can see, there's more stuff to do in this place. There's even private banquet rooms. And then I discovered this when I was talking to the manager, AJ who took me to the back to show me this room, which is their private dining room for VIP guests where even people can rent this place out. And as you can see, TVs, private dining area, or for any kind of functions where you just wanna be away from the crowd. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, subscribe. That way you don't miss any future coming videos. So here's the prices for everything. The pigs in a blanket ran $19 and the burger ran $32. So again, if you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit that red button and I will catch you guys in the next one. And not to forget to mention, I gotta give a huge shout out and thank you to all of the Patreon members and supporters of the podcast and YouTube channel here, folks. Throwing you guys on the screen because you guys are the shiznit. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.